Greetings everyone. In this video, we're going to transfer all the files from an old Mac to a new Mac using Apple's Migration Assistant. So the first thing you want to do before you get started is make sure that both laptops are plugged into power. And then you want to turn both computers on. So this method works when you buy a new computer and you want to migrate all of your files from the old computer to the new computer, which is very simple using Apple's Migration Assistant. So on the new computer, when you start it up, you'll be presented with the setup screens. So we'll just run through those here. We'll select English and then the United States or the country you're living in. And on the transfer your data to this Mac screen, we're gonna select from a Mac, time machine, or startup disk. And then we'll select continue. Then you'll be asked to select a wireless network. So you wanna select the wireless network and then enter the password. And then you'll be presented with the transfer information to this Mac screen. And then on the old Mac, what we'll do is we will launch the Migration Assistant by going to the Utilities folder, or we can do a search and search for Migration Assistant, and then it comes right up, and then we can just double click it to launch it. And then to start the transfer, we hit Continue, and then it'll ask for your administrator password. And then the Migration Assistant will quit all applications and it will do kind of like a logout, but the application will still be running. And then the option you want on the old Mac is to transfer to another Mac. And then it will use a wireless to wireless ad hoc network between both computers to find the new computer. And then as we switch over to the new computer, we will select the old computer here and it will present us with the same code on both to pair them. And then on the old computer, you select continue and then on the new computer, you select continue. And then it will search for applications and documents to transfer from the old computer. As you can see, it has created a peer to peer network. And then on the transfer your information screen, you could deselect some of these items if you don't want to transfer it. But in this case, we're going to transfer everything. And it's about 2.42 gig of data. Then it'll ask you to set an admin password because it won't transfer that over from the old computer. You'll just have to type in the same password if you want to use the same one, or you could create a new password here, but it will transfer the account. And then once that is done, you select set password, you get the green check mark, and then you click continue here. And now it's gonna start transferring the data from your old computer to this Mac, which is the new Mac. And it could take a little while, depending on how much data you have to transfer. And I sped this up, but it took just about 10 minutes to transfer the data over to the new computer but I don't have that many files to transfer. And then once the data migration is done on the new computer, you can select restart or restart automatically. And then on the old computer, you can select done and you'll go back to the login window. So here we are on the new computer, the first time sign in after the migration. Agreed to the terms of using the software. Welcome to Mac screen, continue. So here we'll type in the password that we created using the migration assistant. Could be the same as your old computer or different. And then we'll get to the sign in with your Apple account. So this would be a different password or it could be the same, but you'll have to have your Apple account password here as well. 
So signing in with Apple account, you'll get a code sent to your other devices that are using the same iCloud account. In this case, it's my iPhone. So I'll type that number in here. So then it sets up your iCloud account on the new computer. And then you can go through these screens. I highly recommend turning on File Vault, another added protection, and then using your Touch ID fingerprint is another layer of security. And it's so it's really helpful so you don't have to keep typing in your password. And then we get the Welcome to Mac screen. And we'll click Continue to sign in. And now we're at the desktop. And we can see all my files have been transferred over. Everything's there, all the apps that I were using on the other computer. Um, and also, if I go to Safari, all my bookmarks are there as well. And that was an easy process. So that's it on using Apple's Migration Assistant to migrate to a new computer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.